Hey, this is Mike, and I just want to share with you a handy tip that can really speed up your workflow quite a bit. So sometimes when you are working on your projects, getting objects just the right way, just specifically the way you want them, a lot of times entails multiple different formatting and effects. So animations, fill colors, backgrounds, even you might want to add in in this case in this example you can see here this has even got several different object states I've got a hover state and a visited state and to manually recreate those multiple effects on different objects can be pretty slow and time consuming and tedious so this is where the format painter can really come in and speed up your workflow quite a bit uh, the way this works is I've got an object here. In this case, it's just a shape. Uh, once you apply all those multiple effects and formatting options, it's real easy to go and use the Format Painter and then just paint all of those formatting effects to another object. So notice all the fill colors, outline colors, uh, font settings, and it even brings over those object states so you see here a hover and visited state which weren't there before and it's really super simple to use so basically uh, you're just going to select the object that's got the formatting you want applied and you go up here and click the format painter if you want to apply that to multiple objects you can do a double click here on the format painter and then your format painter paintbrush notice that's attached to my cursor here that will stay on and you can just keep painting that until you're finished then when you're done you can either go back and click that button again and turn it off or just hit your escape key on your keyboard and continue on with whatever else is next and the cool thing is is the format painter will work with shapes buttons characters tons and tons of objects here so here's another example that is pretty handy so I've added a button here which comes with a whole host of predefined states so when I add a button I get hover down visited and disabled states if I wanted maybe that button not to be rounded but maybe I wanted my button to be a different shape or a different look you can even format paint between the button and this rectangle shape. So again, I've got my original object highlighted. I'll grab my format painter and paint it. So notice it picks up font, fill colors, and all of the object states in a snap. So quick and easy way, big time saver. And, and there's also one other little known trick here that you can use. So if you're a keyboard person, there are keyboard shortcuts for the format painter so control shift and C is going to be a copy so copy the formatting now when I come down and go to my next object I can do control shift and V and that's going to apply that formatting so kinda of like copy and paste normally we're just adding in that shift key now the benefit of that is storyline will remember that formatting and I can go here, I can do other things, I can make edits to shapes and add slides and maybe I want to delete this character, do something here and Storyline is going to keep that sort of on a formatting clipboard so I can always come back and do my control shift V and I can apply that anywhere throughout my project and never lose it and never have to go back and, and recopy that formatting so Pretty handy, big time saver. Keyboard shortcuts will make that formatting permanent on your memory, so you can apply it anywhere. So next time you need to copy and paste similar multiple formatting effects to other objects, go ahead and take the Format Painter for a spin and see how much time it can save you.